Hi, this is Greg Reese with ReefPoint again. I'm just going to share a scenario that a lot of people use the DST for in connection with the sale of a highly appreciated asset. So I'm going to use the exact example of Hank. Hank uh, owned an investment property in Southern California that used to be his primary residence, but you know he decided he wanted to get out of California uh, and all the regulations and rules and new taxes and things that were coming down. He just felt that he and his family would be better served by moving to a, uh, a more tax-friendly state, in this case, Nevada. Uh, in the meanwhile, he had turned his former residence into an investment property. And, you know, it, it had grown substantially and it was worth about $5 million at that point in time. His basis on that was very low because he had owned it 20-something years. And so there was going to be a lot of capital gains uh, at stake in this situation. So. Henry was able to uh, use the DST to sell that property, to defer all the taxes, and to basically have those proceeds reinvested in such a way that it would deliver uh, additional income, in fact, substantially more income than the rental income that he was receiving before. In addition to that, now that he's a taxpayer of Nevada and not a taxpayer of California, to the extent that he's only receiving interest payments on his DST note, he's paying tax as a Nevada resident, not a California resident. So on the interest portion, he's not paying California tax at all. California will get their share eventually as Hank decides to start drawing down even more than interest, drawing into principal, but that could be many, many years down the road. So it's another way both to defer taxes and actually to reduce the tax brackets that you actually pay taxes in. So interesting story that a lot of people utilize this for. Thank you.